Um, so now we obviously select English if that's what it is. Don't do try, just install it. Um, we don't need to try it. Uh, I did download updates, this is pretty good, and install third-party software. Um, these things will save you a lot of hassle in the future, so just I would just say just do that and go to continue. And again, the four, you know, all that. Um, so erase disk and install Ubuntu. This sounds kind of like erase Windows, but no, it's not because we're using uh, the virtual machine. So essentially it's an empty machine. So this is okay. Hit continue. Um, perfect. That's how much will be used on the hard disk. That's okay. Install it. This takes a good amount of time. Um, so I'm going to let it install and then we will come back and discuss more once it's done. Of course, pick your time zone and I think, and then of course, English default. And then I can, I'm not going to test my keyboard. You can. Um, your name, I'm just going to do Justin, and then I'll call it Linux2 is my computer name. Username, I'm going to do jmitchell3, and then set a password. Um, you, could, you would want a fairly complicated password, but do something that you remember. You don't have to do a fairly complicated one because um, it's really a local thing. You're not, you're not using this as a production server, which we'll get into what a production server is later, but you're using this on your computer. Not very many people are probably using your computer, so you know don't worry about too complicated of a password. Um, you can even do like coding or something like that. Uh, you can also encrypt your home folder. I do it, uh, just extra security, that's all. Um, and then you just hit continue. And again, a lot of this stuff will start to slow down. It will take a while. So in the next one, um, we will uh, discuss what to do shortly after this installs. All right, see you then.